Right now, you have no fucking idea of what the hell is going on in your love life. Clearly. You have no idea. Everything's hidden. You have no... Um, you have no choice but to trust your intuition about what's really going on. Scorpio, honestly, to some extent, I feel that you're thinking very negatively about the situation that's going on with your love life, about a particular person that you're uh, looking for, okay? I don't see this as options. I see you as someone who's just very confused. You just don't know what decision to make. You just don't know where to look. You don't know what to do. It's like, I'm not, I'm, get, I'm getting things are very stagnant and stuck between you and the person you're dealing with. You just don't know what to think. Because there's just no clarity, there's no communication, there's no information about the other person that you're dealing with. And uh, you have no choice but to just, you know, trust your gut, trust your instinct. And, but I feel somehow, somehow fear is, is a big uh, issue out here. Things probably which don't have to be uh, overanalyzed, I think you're overthinking them, okay? You're making a very small issue uh, projecting it to be very, very big. I mean, it may be big for a few of you, but I just feel that there's a lot that you're thinking about and you're overthinking, overanalyzing. It's replaying on your mind over and over again, which is getting you very, very confused. Okay? Let's see. How do you see yourself in this connection, Scorpio? How do you see yourself in this connection? I do see that there is someone here coming to communicate towards you. Okay? This person's rushing in, but you don't see this coming because you're, you, you, you don't know where you're headed, okay? You've, le you've, le you've been left in the dark. How do you see yourself in this connection, Scorpio? The person on this side out here, right, is definitely manifesting something. Someone out here is manifesting this connection here, and this person definitely looks like someone who's wanting to come towards you with a love offer, wanting to give you commitment of some sort. Someone who's been very in and out of your life. This person could be someone, you know, who's been playing a lot of tricks, who's been very manipulative, manipulative all this while. But someone's secretly manifesting you, Scorpio. And this person's coming towards you, okay? I feel they're literally leaving the kind of person that they were in the past. They're letting that go. This person could be someone who's not communicating with you, okay? This person's letting go of their old ways, their tricky ways, and they're wanting to come towards you with an offer of love. This is someone who you've probably given up hope and faith that they'll never come back. You probably think it's over between you guys, but that's not what's happening. Alright, tell me the person on this side. How does this person see themselves in this connection? Someone is even coming towards you with an apology. Yeah. You're letting go of a relationship. What you're doing is you're letting go of a relationship that once made you very, very happy. Okay, this was your happily ever after. You guys were once on the same page, you and the person you're dealing with. At least emotionally you were, okay? This was like a happily ever after. It was like that dreamy, um, you know, like that fairy tale uh, connection, okay? The fairy tale kind of connection here where everything was ab absolutely happy and fun. But what happened slowly, slowly, it kind of turned out to be something which was more of a burden and stress. I think the emotional fulfillment starting wearing, started wearing away from it. And it, was, it became more of a situation that was becoming very difficult for you to deal with. I think you were the one, until the emotional fulfillment was there, you guys were on the same page. But I think you were someone who wanted more, okay? And probably this person was here who kept you as an option. Even, even if they didn't have options, they made you feel like an option, okay? They played mind games, okay? They wanted to be single. They were in this connection with you, but they were always acting single, being single. Which was becoming too much of a task for you, okay? And you had to end this cycle with them, and that's what you did. Yeah, you feel very left out and isolated. You were feeling alone or very lonely in this relationship even though you were with them. Um, how does this person view Scorpio? How does this person view Scorpio? How does this person view Scorpio? Yeah, they view you as someone who they want a long-term commitment with, okay? They definitely see you as marriage material. They definitely see you as someone they want long-term with. They want marriage, they want kids, they want the family, okay? But there is, they see you as someone who's very defensive right now. Your guards are up, you're standing your ground. You could have blocked this person everywhere. 
even if you haven't blocked them energetically you block this person this person feels that they get that vibe from you like back off leave me alone they see you as someone who's not open to communication someone who's not open or receptive to what they have to say or what they have to offer that's why they're probably keeping quiet about their goals and seriously wanting to manifest this relationship to come back but yeah they definitely see you as someone you know who's uh, being very overprotective and your guards are up how does this person view uh, how does scorpio view this person how does scorpio view this person You view this person as a business plan, okay? But definitely view this someone as someone who's very materialistic, okay? Someone who's a business owner, the bread owner of the family. You could see them as someone very materialistic, very selfish, very self-centered, very greedy with their energies. You see them as someone who's not sure about making a move towards you, okay? You see this person as a cr at a crossroads. Could be someone who's living at a distance from you. This could be a long distance relationship. But you feel you see this person as someone who has a lot of love for you. Okay, you know that they love you a lot. They want to start a new emotional cycle with you. But you see them as someone who's at a crossroads. Maybe this person is someone who has to make a choice, or probably either choosing something, uh, choosing. You know, I'm getting someone here who's very, very overly conservative and very traditional also. So this person, you see them as someone who's at a crossroads. I think this person chooses you and starts a new life with you and starts a new beginning with you a very fresh energy with you okay after whatever happened between you guys a renewal in love or this person has to choose about wanting to follow the tradition and uh, or wanting to be non-committal and just focus on their money their goals their career okay it could just be, it, that's what i'm getting here that's how you choose them you choose the, you see them as someone who's at a crossroads okay um this person here, like I said, right, could be someone very materialistic. Probably this person's relationship was never um, a priority for them, okay? For them, money, business, goals, career, everything else is a priority except love, except emotions. And probably this was someone here, like I said, who was emotionally unavailable in the past. Could be someone who was emotionally unavailable in the past. But someone here I'm getting who's always like, who likes to be single okay they like to play the field they like to be single they like to be on their own okay but this person out here this person has a lot of confidence that they can make it happen with you that's the magician so that's someone here who feels like you know they can just waltz back into your life whenever they want but yeah the way they view you the way the way you have your guards up they know it's going to be a tough game they know it's not going to be easy for them to get in no matter how much of a magician this person is why is all this happening what led to this Okay. The Six of Pentacles. Okay. Six of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. This is why all this is happening. Someone wants to come in. This is someone who had a lack of reciprocity. Someone who didn't give you what you deserve. Someone didn't give you the attention that you deserve. Could be someone who was giving to two people. Now, out here, two people, yes, but this could also be someone here who is more focused on their other commitments in their life rather than focusing on you. And there was a lack of balance here. And now this person wants to come in towards you. They're rushing in. They're coming up as knights, knight of cups, knight of wands here. This person wants to come towards you and they want to give you what you deserve. They want to make things fair. They want to balance the situation out with you. And they're rushing in. This is why all this is happening. So you let go of this person. This person could be someone who's been very in and out of your life, okay? Very unreliable, very insincere, okay? Someone who is all about the passion and never about commitment, okay? Because the Knight of Wands is also someone who's non committal. Because in the past also with the, with the Knight of Cups, not in the past, but in their energy is also they're showing up as someone who's very hot and cold, okay? Someone who avoids confrontations. But yeah, this person here is coming towards you and they're rushing in, okay? Expect communication from them anytime is what I'd say, okay? They're in a hurry. They probably see you as someone who's just not interested in them and that's, I think that's worrying them. They're very stressed. They, they, they fear they might lose you or they are losing you. That's why they're rushing and there's so much of rushing energy from this person's mind, from this person's energy. Okay, what action do you plan on taking towards this person, Scorpio? What action do you plan on taking towards this person?
what action do you plan on? What action does Scorpio plan on taking towards this person? What action does Scorpio plan on taking towards this person? What action does this person plan on taking towards Scorpio? What action does this person plan on taking towards Scorpio? Yep, they're coming back. They're coming back. <laughs> Scorpio, they're coming back. Now what's happening here is Scorpio. You want to be with this person. Okay, you want to be with this person. The camera on me. You want to be with this person for sure. Okay, but I think you're contemplating about whether you want to be with them or whether you should just stay single. Because I feel there's definitely been an ending between you guys. Okay, but you're stuck in your head. Do you want this with this person or not? There's a lot of past playing in your head, okay? A lot of thinking, a lot of... Um, you feel stuck in the past, okay? You feel your hands are tied. You feel like, I don't know what to do. I don't think you're making any move towards them. Although, you would love to be with them, deep within. Okay, now, if Scorpios, if you don't want to be with this person, then why are you even watching this reading, all right? This is for the ones who really want to be with this person, but it's the past experiences that you've had with this person which is stopping you from moving towards them, okay? Or stopping you from taking up this offer or stopping you from, you know, completely trusting them. I think you don't trust this person, okay? Because this person has broke your heart in the past, okay? You feel backstab, betrayed by them, and you feel that this what if, a lot of what ifs from your side. What if it doesn't work out? What if they do the same thing that they're doing now, okay? This person on the hand here, they love you to the moon and back, okay? But this is someone here who's gonna strategize. They're gonna strategize and come towards you in a way, okay? They're thinking, planning, strategizing about how they can come towards you, okay? Because they clearly see you as someone who's blocked them. This person could be strategizing right now, planning right now. Probably they're talking to their friends. They're trying to take some help about how they can get back into your life. Because you've had like a no entry board, okay? Like no trespassers allowed. You have like this huge board energetically which they can feel, okay? Where I think you've been blocking this person out everywhere. You know what, Scorpio? I feel you're, trust you're, you're testing this person's commitment somewhere somehow by blocking this person out everywhere. You want to see how badly this person wants you. And guess what? Guess what? They really do. They really do. You, no matter how high your walls are, this person's going to break them and they're going to come towards you because that's what they're working on. Again, this person has matured, I feel, with the Knight of Cups. To the action that they're going to take, they're going to come towards you very, very maturely. Okay? You may give up on this. You may think something's a waste of time. This person could have made you wait for a very, very, very long time to come towards you wanting to give you something stable. Okay? But they just had to do what they had to do and now they're coming back. But you're on the other hand, you're going to be at the crossroads. You're going to, one, you're going to be the one who's going to have to choose. You still want this person who loves you. Um, they're coming back. Okay, they're feeling guilty about whatever happened in the past. They realize they should have run from you. Okay, this person has a tendency to keep coming back towards you. Okay, so they've done this like, done this like a multiple times. Because of it, it's keeping you in your head. You're happy where you are right now. Don't get me wrong. You're very happy where you are right now. But again, you're still stuck on this person. So there are chances when this person comes back, you're going to be at a crossroads. It's going to be a very tough choice for you. Okay? Do you want to still be with this person or do you want to completely release this person and just be on your own? What's the best possible outcome for Scorpio? What's the best possible outcome for Scorpio? For this pair? What's the best possible outcome for Scorpio for this pair? you may try to get away from this person okay like i'm telling you right you're gonna keep this person stuck when they come in you're not gonna probably reply or you'll just keep them on hold even if even if you try to move away from this person which i see you doing you may try to move on it's like you know what i have no choice i gotta do this okay like i said it's a forced transition it's a forced departure for you why because you're just stuck in your head you just don't know what to do about the situation okay it's your own fears that's stopping you again i'm not saying any of these fears are unrealistic but I just feel that you don't want to give this person a chance. Why? Because 
either there's been a relationship that's gone bad in the past or this person messed things up so badly for you that you're like you know what no i don't even want to get in this although a part of you still wants to be with this person you still would be uh ready to be with this person in the blink of an eye especially the kind of offer that they're coming in towards you with but it's still like what if what if what if i feel you're still going to when this person comes in towards you okay you're still going to try and move on but the problem here is no matter how much you try to move on you're still going to be stuck you're still going to be stuck you're moving towards uh either you're going to try and move on and move to someone else or move towards something else like a rebound is what i'm getting Maybe a new connection that you're moving towards, okay, which you don't want to, but you still have to because you want to try and get over this person. Or if you're just trying to energetically move on from this person, okay, both ways, I don't think you're doing it with your will. Even if you do, the outcome here is you're going to be stuck. You're going to be stuck. You're not going to get over this person because this is not really something that the universe wants you to do. Maybe the universe wants you to give it a second thought, a second chance here, but you're the one. You're coming in your own way, Scorpio. You're coming in your own way. Not... Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that this person hasn't messed up with you or they've literally betrayed you. Yes, they have. But at least move away from this person in a way where you have clarity, you understand logically what you're doing. Don't get away from this person because you're emotionally blocked and you just don't want to talk about them, you don't want to think about them, they did what they did, I don't even want to see things from a different point of view, you know, they don't deserve me. Okay, if they don't, that's fine, but at least move ahead with clarity, okay? Don't be in two minds because that's getting you nowhere. It's just getting you into a place where you're just going to be stuck and stagnant. Things are going to be completely out of heart and you're going to be like, well, it would have been better that I would have probably given this a second chance. Okay? So that's what I have for you. Hope this feeling resonates. Leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.